In this demo, you will learn about a new enterprise cloud computing reference architecture jointly developed by F5 and IBM. This reference architecture is based on hands-on lab experience. It provides a foundation for organizations to deliver more agile IT services to ensure faster results and improved success rates. To optimize IT service delivery and achieve maximum cost efficiency, an enterprise cloud solution must deliver key benefits such as unlimited scalability. Other benefits include dynamic provisioning, adaptable integration, and the ability to take advantage of existing investments. To help you get the maximum benefit from your cloud solution, F5 and IBM ensured that the architecture simplifies standard message communication, utilizes asynchronous and stateless communication, makes use of universally compatible protocols, and finally, that it minimizes the use of proprietary communications to a single component. Let's see how the F5 and IBM Cloud works by taking a look at the automation of two typical provisioning workflows. In this example, a server administrator manually initiates a workflow. Using the Cloud Controller, the server administrator enters configuration data, including application type, IP address information, and other specific information about the application to be provisioned. Once the administrator submits the data, the provisioning workflow begins. The cloud controller tells the hypervisor to deploy the requested application image. At the same time, the cloud controller publishes an event notification, which is sent to the message bus. The notification contains the new application image's instance ID and the data that was entered by the server administrator. All communication to the message bus is asynchronous and stateless and happens through a universally available protocol, such as syslog. Next, the hypervisor requests the application image from the cloud file system. The storage virtualization device retrieves the application image via NFS from the appropriate storage tier. While this is happening, the message bus normalizes the event notification and forwards it to the orchestrator. Once the orchestrator receives the event notification, it executes an automated workflow. The orchestrator uses proprietary API or CLI commands to configure each device or system involved with the information that was originally entered by the server administrator. Once the virtual machine is up and running, the virtual machine sends an event notification to the message bus. This notification alerts the orchestrator that the new virtual machine is available. The orchestrator then notifies the big IP system and the monitor that the new application instance is running and ready to receive connections. Using the cloud controller to enter configuration information, the server administrator kicked off an automated workflow. This resulted in the deployment of a new application instance, which is now available to service client requests and is complete with health and resource monitoring, load balancing, and DNS entries. The workflow we've just seen was initiated manually by the server administrator. But the same automated workflow can be kicked off programmatically based on real-time performance data. Let's take a look. The monitor continuously surveys the health of the virtual machine and compares the data it retrieves to preset performance thresholds. Here, the virtual machine has reached a CPU utilization threshold. In response to the dwindling resources, the monitor publishes an event notification to the message bus. This notification initiates an automated workflow to provision additional application resources. In order to deploy the application, the orchestrator collects the required application configuration metadata. This may include the name of the application, application type, and port information. In this scenario, the metadata is already available because it was entered by the server administrator and published in DNS when the application instance was originally deployed. The orchestrator then sends the data it collected to the cloud controller, telling it to deploy a new application instance. From this point on, the same workflow that you saw in the first scenario is repeated to bring another application instance online that is ready to receive user connections. 
The F5 and IBM cloud architecture can help your organization meet business demands. Learn more about this scalable cloud solution at f5.com slash IBM.